So guys, today I'm going to make for you a pork steak. So here I have six nice um, pieces of pork steak all washed and I put it on some um, on towel to dry because I don't want too much water in it. So I'm going to put the pork aside and I'm going to start to make the sauce that I'm going to be using on it. So to, for, to make the sauce for this um, pork steak, I'll be using a wide variety. I'll be using some sun-dried tomatoes, some roasted peppers, some chili peppers. So this is garlic powder and all-purpose Jamaican season mixed together. So I'm just jazzing it up with my own little twist in it. And this is some thyme and dry parsley, dry thyme and dry parsley. So what I'll be doing, you know my faithful blender here, I'll be putting the sun-dried tomato on the roasted pepper inside. And I'm gonna be blended. And you know this is my favorite piece of kitchen equipment. You guys know that by now. So I'll be adding the crushed chili into it. And all I'm gonna do is blend it all together. I'll be adding this later. As you can see, that's exactly how I wanted it. So guys, the mixture that I just blended, I'll be scraping it into this bowl. So now I'll be adding my parsley and my thyme. And you can add, add the seasoning if you want, and I'm using my garlic powder now and my all-purpose Jamaican seasoning. Extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going in with a bit of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm also going in with some garlic oil. Don't think I'm pouring a lot because it have up. So now I'll be going in with a bit of dark soya sauce. You still want to see the color on your meat when you finish with it. And I'm going in say with about two um, tablespoons of ketchup. Yeah, just about it. And then you're gonna just blend all together. So guys, I've gone ahead and I've taken all the um, paper towel from the pork because it's fully dried now. And so now guys, can you guess what I'm gonna do? Giving it five seconds to guess. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, guys, if you said that I'm gonna smother it with this lovely sauce that I made, then you are absolutely right. So now I'm just gonna get the sauce. I'm thinking of using the brush or using the pot. Let, well, let me just see what works better. Cause I want it to be all over. I think it's better to use the fork and I hope that the sauce will be enough Guys, this sauce tastes so delicious. Cause I'm gonna be putting it in the oven. So now that I've smothered my pork with this sauce, I'm just gonna put it right in the oven because I already have the oven preheated on 220 degrees. So it's ready to go in. And guys, if you don't know this, pork is one of the easiest meat to cook, guys. It is so easy to cook. So guys, when I'm making packet mash, I usually had some fresh milk. Then I comes in with some butter. Then I had my boiling water. Mash. And I like using a fork instead of a whisk. Make sure still have that nice fluffy taste. Now we're getting the consistency that we are after. Normally, I would do my own potato, but I wasn't expecting to do mashed potato with it. That's my mashed potato done. 
So guys, our pork is ready. I'll just hold it and show it to you here. It's ready, so I'll see you at service time, guys. So guys, as you can see, I used the rest of it to make that nice, delicious sauce to eat with the potato. And we're not going in for no fancy thing today because my son is just itching to have this one. I hope you enjoy this recipe, guys, as I enjoy making it for you. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.